Hey everybody, how's it going? Mark here, Backcountry Pipe. Friday night, down in the man cave, and uh, join a little memory of, uh, of Edinburgh with my Rattray's Good Deal pipe that I picked up, not far off the Royal Mile. And in it, enjoying some constant cut plug. And uh, been enjoying this stuff. Really loving the labels that you can just kind of get online, make them up, print them off, glue them on the lids of the jars, and uh, kind of just dresses it up a little bit. And uh, aesthetically pleasing, I guess, when you're looking at your 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 pipe tobacco collection. Not much going on here. It's uh, going to be a pretty wet rainy weekend um with a flash freeze i guess coming uh, later tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening so much so that we've uh we have some plans for dinner tomorrow evening but uh we we've, we've since changed those just because of the the uh the flash freeze warning and uh there's some flood warnings out with uh so much rain coming in the snow but i'm sure we'll be fine here but uh some places with uh, the ground frozen and everything like that it's uh could be a recipe for a messy weekend But anyway, and with that, I'm going to do a little pour this evening. I'm going to try a new scotch. Um, as uh, a lot of you know, I like uh, Bowmore 12 is, uh, is one of my favorites. But I've heard a lot about this uh, lately, and uh, it's a blended scotch. And I wanted to try it, uh, and it was... Uh, not too rare or not too often you hear about things online or see videos or people talk about them and be able to find them here locally but i did um and i believe this is uh this this can be for like a, a mixing whiskey but i just like mine straight up so i'm gonna try some monkey shoulder blended uh malt scotch whiskey rooted in malt whiskey history and inspired by the malt men who Still turn the malting barley by hand. Uh, Monkey Shoulder is blended in small batch of space size finest single malt whiskeys married to achieve a smooth, rich taste. Batch 27. Taste. Mellow vanilla with spicy hints. Notes of zest orange, vanilla honey, and spiced oak. Not sure how this will pair with the uh, constant cut plug. But I'm going to try it. Love that sound. Oh, smells good. So I got the uh, Glencairn glass here. I'm going to pour a little dram and uh, give it a try. Hard to beat. Rainy Friday night. Pipe, dram. Definitely smelling like some vanillas and honey there for sure. Anyway, cheers. Ooh, that's that's nice got some some spicy notes to it a little kind of citrusy hints good it's uh well <clears throat> for for the price point of that it's uh it's pretty good stuff Vanilla, mellow vanilla with spicy hints. Hmm. Not bad at all. <clears throat> I'll uh, definitely uh, enjoy that bottle over time. 
anyway, not to get off track here. I uh, wanted to show you another purchase uh, <clears throat> that came finally all the way from across the pond. And that was my two recent uh, pipe purchases before they're gone. Hard castle. And this was uh, a recommendation um, from Piper X1X uh, in combination with uh, Old and in the Way, Gary. It's a Regency hot pipe. And I know this video doesn't do justice for the look of the grain on this <clears throat> for being from the Regency line. But uh, it's a really great feeling, great feeling pipe in the hand. Um, Hardcastle Regency 112. So very nice pipe. Very, very happy with this. Um, not sure what the first blend I will enjoy in this is going to be. But for the price point, can't, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. And the second hard castle, which I was kind of hoping to aim for a nine mil, but uh, they were selling pretty quick. But I did happen to get this beauty. Hard castle Camden 101. And uh, Piper X1X is actually smoking one of these uh, on one of his videos and the band to Apple beautiful beautiful green on this drills holes are perfect in them um, so yeah I'm looking forward looking forward to sparking both of these up not sure what I'm gonna have in them and not like I needed another pipe. But I believe that's the end of the line for these hard castles. Um, and I didn't want to really dilly-dally on them. Uh, my smoke shop, UK, I believe is where I got them from. And uh, even with that, I'm even still looking, thinking I wouldn't mind even trying to get another one. But uh, <clears throat> that being said, I like to get uh, a vintage hard castle. Something kind of from the back in the world war ii or previous era but we'll see we'll see what i can find um there's a few on ebay there now and uh, they're always popping up on ebay <clears throat> so with that i guess i'm going to say uh thank you to jonathan uh pipe x1x for uh you know speaking so highly of those uh the hard castles and, and giving everybody a heads up uh on the availability of those and looking forward to trying them. It's just the hardest part's gonna be uh, what, to, what to enjoy in them. Um, I got some bothy flake there. I'm probably gonna save that if I can until the closer to the, uh, this autumn. Um, but yeah, not sure what's, what it's gonna be, but uh, it'll have to, have to be worthwhile and, and pair up. You know, I won't just have a, a blend in there for the sake of having them. I think the pot billiard going to be a, a flake pipe nice thick walls and uh, the Camden I'm not sure what that's going to be anyway hope everyone's doing good cheers to everybody uh, initial first impressions of monkey shoulder you know it's a it's a lot smoother than a Johnny Red and uh, I mean, I, I like all Scotch whiskey blended single malts. I mean, I mean, I can get, I can enjoy a Johnny Red. Um, Johnny Green's probably my favorite, but uh, you know, famous gross. This monkey shoulder is great, but I also I like Lafroy Lagavulin. So uh, I don't discriminate. So cheers, and uh, we'll get you on the next video. Hope everyone's doing good. Bye.